Hello, once again, Chef David J. Alvarez. Um, yesterday, I made a pico de gallo, which is on my other video. Make sure you check it out if you love pico de gallo. So I have it right here. This is from yesterday. So what, what I like to do is uh, we make our uh, guacamole with the pico de gallo. Flavors are uh, delicious. So, we are going to make guacamole. These are beautiful, beautiful avocados this time of year. Just gonna take the, the seed out, give it a little turn. That's all you do, get the seed out, see that? Whack it, and a little turn. It comes right out. So, this is our pico de gallo, has all of our, let's add a little bit more tomato, and then a big spoon. Make sure you get a big spoon. It's easier to take all the avocado meat out. And this is a little firm, which that's what you want, right? So, there's the first one. But the big spoon, you, you can be able to get it out in one shot. See that? Nice and clean. I recommend using a big spoon. You could get them anywhere now, they're pretty cheap. Big lots. Walmart, they pretty much all carry the, the stuff you need. Get that out of there. It's fighting me. All right. So now, I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. Now, easy as that. Wipe my, my knife off. Throw that in the trash. So now, we have our guacamole, and I like to use a whisk. It's the easiest way to mash it up and mix it in. And I like a firmer avocado because basically with the pico de gallo, the juice from the tomato and the lime juice is going to help balance it out. You know, so that way you make sure that your, your avocado is nice and green. And the whisk is just an easier way to uh, incorporate all of it. Yeah, it's mixing nice right there. We're getting it all in there. So you can do the pico de gallo earlier in the day or you know, same day or the day before. Um, what I like to do is my pico de gallo that's a day old is what I'll make my guacamole with. It just seems to taste better that way that I found out over the years. You know, so get all that out of there. See how, how beautiful it is? Look how nice that is. Isn't that a beautiful, bright guacamole? All right. So, let me get back another chip, which they are the chips. Hang on. They already made it to the bedroom, which we weren't even in there yet. So, I just want to show you how beautiful this looks. That's my chips break, but look at that. Now, let me give you a little word of advice. You want a breaker avocado. They're called breaker avocados, and that means they're breaking to ripe. And uh, these are perfect for guacamole. You know, you don't have to worry about that because they won't be over ripened, or they won't be not ripe. So you go to the grocery store, you ask for breaker avocados. And the produce guy will know exactly what you're talking about. And this is a perfect avocado for guacamole or even sandwiches because it's breaking to ripe. It's firm, but except it has a beautiful color as you see this. Okay. You saw me cut it open. You saw me right here. I have no gimmicks. I didn't add any food coloring, anything like that. So break our avocado and you'll have the best guacamole in your life. Mix it with the pico de gallo recipe that I made yesterday. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day.